What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. What a time to be a Marvel fan, man. Everything hitting on all cylinders this week with X-Men 97 and then a huge and unexpected presentation from Marvel Studios with new footage for Deadpool and Wolverine and even a first look at Captain America Brave New World. But right after the presentation concluded, industry insiders were back at it, this time with a new rumored slate reveal for exactly what movies are coming from Marvel Studios now through the end of 2028. It included a third Avengers film, an unexpected X-Men film. We're going to break down this latest rumor in full, tell you which movies are now slated to come in which dates. I also am a little skeptical about a couple of the points on this, so I'm going to point those out and of course annotate it where I can with other industry insider updates we've had over the last couple of months. We're breaking it all down, the latest rumored slate for the rest of the multiverse saga, taking us up to 2029 with Marvel Studios. But first, I want to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, War Thunder, a free-to-play epic military game with land, sea, and air vehicles spanning an entire century. It's available on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. War Thunder really is able to capture the immense scale of military conflict with its diverse selection of accurate vehicles and locations all over the world. The entire aesthetic of War Thunder is constantly being upgraded through gameplay, physics, and sound, which makes for an absolutely stunning game that really allows players to immerse themselves. Now, if you're a fan of military vehicles, you are going to be absolutely shocked with the accuracy and detail, which really makes each vehicle feel unique. And in War Thunder, all advanced technologies are available. Guided missiles, aviation protection, smoke screen, night vision devices. What's more, with the recent Alpha Strike update to the game, Hungarian aviation is now available along with a plethora of new equipment, both modern and classic. Visual effects have been significantly improved and gameplay has been refined based on community requests. They even dropped a new map for intense aviation and tank battles, North Holland, fight in the red light district or create a small apocalypse in a shopping center. Download War Thunder for free using the link in the description. All new players and those who haven't played War Thunder for half a year or more will receive some special bonuses, rentals for the P-40 E-1 aircraft and M-4 tank for a week, along with free unique skins for them, a special decorator, Eagle of Valor, 100,000 Silver Lions, three premium vehicles for a week, a week of premium account access, and even more gifts. Hurry up, the American vehicle bonus season will end soon. Okay, so as I tell you guys period here at the channel and because we cover stuff from the rumor mill like we're covering today take everything that doesn't come directly from Marvel Studios with a grain of salt but there's also a reason we cover certain sources at this channel anonymous or not Twitter scoopsters industry insiders and that's because they start to get things right and develop a reputation and that's the case for today's Twitter scoopster who is rather new to the scoop scene but has already nailed a couple of things that's Hollyfield news you can follow them over on Twitter at Hollyfield m5 okay so according to them, these are the next 13 films we're getting, taking us all the way up to 2029 in the conclusion of the multiverse saga. This year we'll get Deadpool and Wolverine. Next year in 2025, we'll get Captain America, Brave New World, Thunderbolts, Fantastic Four, and Blade. Then in 2026, we'll get Spider-Man 4, Armor Wars, and Shang-Chi 2. And as far as Spider-Man 4 and Shang-Chi 2, those have both recently been confirmed in the trades to be in the earliest stages of pre-development and looking to film according to industry insiders within the next 12 months that does put them on a perfect timetable for a 2026 release. Then in 2027, things get very interesting according to him. Avengers 5 will release in 2027 alongside X-Men, Doctor Strange 3, and Thor 5. So he says after three movies in 2026, We'll get four films in 2027, and one of them will be the X-Men. Now, we absolutely know for sure that Marvel Studios is fielding scripts right now from writers for the upcoming X-Men film, and it was confirmed recently by Production Weekly, we did a video on it in the last couple of weeks, that it's set to start production and at the end of 2025. However, according to industry insider Daniel Rickman, X-Men is not meant to release until after the conclusion of the multiverse saga. So in the prologue, when I said I had a small issue with some of this, I put a little asterisk by X-Men. No, not in the same way that Thunderbolts is. Just I see that as maybe being a title Marvel would want to hold on to and have as a temple release and after the multiverse saga is over to drum up excitement. Now, as far as Doctor Strange 3 and Thor 5, we've definitely heard a lot more about Thor 5 over the last year. There have been several reports that's in the earliest stages of pre-development, that they definitely want to go in a different direction and take a way more serious tone, and even that Taika Waititi would not be back to direct the fifth installment for the franchise. We've heard a lot less about Doctor Strange 3, but I think there's a good chance, and just based on the fact that A, Multiverse of Madness set up 
so many of the key elements of what the multiverse saga is all about with incursions and considering where it left off in a post credit scene about him and Clea taking off to try to stop said incursion. I think there's a really good chance that that film has a better shot of being made before Avengers Secret Wars than any other. Speaking of Avengers Secret Wars, according to Hollyfield News, Avengers Secret Wars Part 1 and Part 2 will both release in 2028, rounding out the multiverse saga. Now, there's one thing I really like about this, and there's one thing that I don't. Number one, what I do believe is that if they break Avengers Secret Wars into a two-part film, so essentially what would be Avengers 6 and Avengers 7, I do not believe they would be able to put a movie in between those two films, only because the story will be at an all-time high, the stakes will be so high, unless you want to sort of do a prequel story, which won't make sense to double back then, you just can't cram any solo story in between, it would just essentially be an extension of the Avengers Secret Wars story. So putting out Avengers Secret Wars Part 1 and Part 2 with no movie in the middle, to me makes the most sense, we've even heard rumors they might want to do that. But what I've never believed they would ever do ever, and even in the times when it's been officially announced, like for instance in 2022 when Marvel first said that Avengers 5 and 6 would come out in the same year, is that Marvel would ever, ever release two Avengers films in the same calendar year. Most likely you would get Avengers Secret Wars Part 1 in May of 2028, and then Avengers Secret Wars Part 2 in May of 2029. Now, Hollyfield News might have just put them both in 2028 for the same reason that Marvel Studios originally put 5 and 6 in the same calendar year, because it just makes a lot more sense than extending it out a whole nother year and for no reason. I just do not believe that we'll ever get two Avengers films in one year. From a box office standpoint, from a studio standpoint, they stand to make so much more by dragging it out and having a year in between. And who knows how much is going to go into the CGI and pre-production, especially if Secret Wars becomes two parts. Which actually brings me to my final thought, whether or not this exact slate is accurate, a lot of this has already been confirmed. Yeah, maybe it's going to go in different places in the calendar. Maybe X-Men won't get socketed into the multiverse saga. But what I will say is if even maybe say 75% of the slate lies before us, Marvel Studios still has a ton of new films and interesting IP that they're working on. And I really feel like this latest recap Calibration that we're getting with Deadpool and X-Men 97 has maybe set the tone for what we can expect in the future and if that's true man I am so excited for whatever happens with the rest of the multiverse saga but you guys let me know all your thoughts down below if you can't keep all these films say Shang-Chi 2, Doctor Strange 3, and Thor 5 which one of those to you is most important well I think we'll have a good chance of getting all of them we're gonna have to wait and see what Marvel says this summer at San Diego Comic-Con or D23 but you guys let me know down below all your reactions and comments to this which movies do you most want to be included in the multiverse saga which characters do you think are most important quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before i let you go okay we're still giving away playstation 5s here at the channel and we're going to continue to do so until the playstation 5 pro comes out and then we'll switch over in the meantime we just announced a brand new winner for the launch of x-men 97 in fact he just dm'd me on instagram showed me a picture he just got it this past weekend we'll have another winner next month to coincide with the finale of x-men 97 if you want to be entered to win or for any of the other future giveaways here at the channel all the same rules will always apply Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below and because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will always be announced live in the end of the video with my voice in the winning comment shown on screen. If you liked today's video, I'd sincerely appreciate it if you hit the like button and the best way to keep up with the content here at the channel is to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. Please stay safe and vigilant on any YouTube channel where prizes are given away regularly. Years ago, we dealt with a problem that apparently is still rampant on the platform as they've been targeting my friends channels that is to say if you're anywhere instagram youtube any platform and you should get a comment please try to remember that anybody can take a content creator's photo claim to be that content creator and the whole ruse is to comment that you've won something and then get you to respond never share your information on a third party app like telegram or whatsapp and please try to remember that no content creator not myself or anyone else will ever charge you for the shipping if you win a prize for that channel that's a dead giveaway that it's a scam be safe, be vigilant, and if you should get a comment like that, again on any platform, 
report the comment directly to the platform. YouTube is super fast about deleting those comments and you're really doing everybody at the community a service, not just helping out the content creator, but everywhere that account has commented now disappears. So just think of how many people you're saving going through the same mess. The best way to keep up with the content at the channel has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. Find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at Amfires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music with the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.